how do we measure the temperature? So this is quite a tricky question because there are so many options that we have currently. Uh, the ear infrared thermometers are quite commonly used. Uh, after three months of age, it's quite convenient. In the younger baby, sometimes the tip may not enter into the ear canal and so the reading may not be accurate. So you have to make an informed decision depending on how small a tip you have. So it's reflective of the core temperature. So from that point of view, it's fairly accurate. And uh, as I said, you need the appropriate sized ear tip. There are the infrared thermometers can be used both in the forehead and on the ear. So you can get these and these are probably the best option. If the child is sleeping, for example, you don't need to disturb the child uh, by putting the tip in the ear canal. You can check it on the temporal pulse, such as the uh, forehead thermometer. You have the digital thermometers. These are different from the uh, uh, infrared thermometers in that they don't give the reading as quickly. It takes at least uh, 30 seconds to a minute in most instances. So it beeps when it's ready to measure until then you have to keep it in the appropriate place. You can use it uh, for oral use, axillary use and rectal use. Obviously, if you're using it for a rectal use, you keep it only for the rectal purpose. You wouldn't put it in other areas. And if you have a oral thermometer in a younger child, it's very difficult because they don't want to keep still with something in their mouth for a long time. In older children and adults, oral thermometer is an option. Axillary temperature can be measured in infants as well if they cooperate. So uh, this is the best source, even though the axillary temperature is not as accurate, is slightly lower than the core temperature. The oral temperature is also slightly lower and we should make sure that we don't measure the oral temperature for at least 15 minutes after they've had something cold or warm to drink because that would influence the uh, oral temperature. Axillary temperature is likely to be lower if the child is sweating uh, as the cooling uh, produces evaporation uh, as the sweating uh, evaporates and then there is cooling related to that. The rectal temperature is as accurate as the core temperature anywhere else, uh, but it is not routinely used as it is invasive. However, we do use it in the neonatal intensive care unit uh, in some stages, especially most of the low reading thermometers are uh, rectal thermometers. So if you need to uh, check for hypothermia where the temperature may be, go below 35 degrees, you may need a rectal probe. And the same is uh, used for the uh, cooling therapeutic hypothermia, which we use in some intensive care units for birth asphyxia. Uh, there are skin patch thermometers. These are not accurate as they are more affected by ambient factors. It's difficult to calibrate them. So it's like hit and miss. It may give you the right reading, but you can't trust it.